Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kizito, and what I do is I solve problems that could be asked in a technical interview. So let's get started. Uh, suppose the technical interviewer asked you to create a function called chunked, and it has an array and size of the array. And the interviewer wants you to divide the arrays into many subarrays. And the subarrays are of length size. For example, this is the given array in the function. And the subarray is split into two. And therefore, you will get a result of two inner arrays. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so right off the bat, we need to create an empty array. Because this will be the array what that will take in some sub-arrays. So we're just going to call it chunked. And make it equal an empty array okay now the next thing we need to do is somehow get the array elements that are unchunked and then put them in the new array that we call chunked how do we do that well we're going we're going to use the for of loop so for let element of the array set. Okay, now that we got this for of loop set up, the next thing we need to do is find the last element in the chunked array, which is this right here that we created. So we need to create a temporary variable called last and give it a value of chunked because we're trying to find the last element in the chunked array and then inside the open and close square brackets we need to type in chunked dot length so it can find so it can be the length of the chunked array but since this is inside of a array we need to put minus one because we don't start from one, two, four, based off of this up right here, which is, this is what we're going to type in for the array. So, yeah, we're just putting minus one, so I can start from zero all the way to three, because that's how you count in arrays. That's how you count array elements. All right, now we need to create a condition that says if there is no last element in the chunked array or its length is equal to the size, then we're just going to add in a new array with an element or with the current element that we're in right now. And the new the, the current element right now should be one. So we're going to type in last dot length is equal to size. And then what's gonna happen is it's going to add a new array with an element inside of it. How do we do that? We just type in open and close square brackets and type in element. All right. Now, if there is an element or the last element in chunked is the size, it's not the size, then we, we're just going to do this instead. We're going to push in the element inside of last, which the, the technically 
the value for last is actually uh, an open and close square brackets with, let's say, like zero. But right now, it's going to have one because we just pushed in the, the current element inside. That's coming from the unchunked array. So that's what it is right now. All right. Once that happens, it's going to uh, repeat again. And now the current element should be 2. And the chunked, or the last element inside chunked, should be uh, 1. It's going to go through this again. See if there's no element, or no last element inside chunked. And then see if there is a, if the last element is equal to the size. If it is, then it will just push in a new array with an element inside of it. But it is not. So it's going to go back down to this uh, else one and add another element. And it should be two. All right. Now that this has two elements in it, this is going to match up in, uh, in the second part of the argument. So it should be, so last length should equal the size, and then an element or an array with an element will be pushed into chunk. And then it's just going to repeat until we reach the last element in the unchunked array. And then once that's done, we will return the chunked array. Which in turn should give you a result of this above here. With two subarrays inside of an array. Okay, so let me just get rid of this right here. And now we're going to copy this function. All right, we copied it, and then just like in the previous video, how I showed you this new method of entering the console inside terminal, we're going to type in nod, there's enter, and then we're going to paste in the function. All right, press enter. Then we're going to call the function chunked array, give it an array for the first parameter. It's going to be one, two, three, four, just like above here. And then we're going to give it a size of two. And voila, there it is. There are the two sub arrays inside of the array. This is a chunked array function. That's it for today. You'll have a good one.